Caitlin's uh, father. All right? And Dylan, I have a very, 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 if I didn't say very, I'm going to say it again, a very, very special gift that I want to give to you. Now, if you all look at Katie's face, she knows what it is. She didn't know that there was going to be a transfer of the Kung Fu Woodward. Now, that's, that's, that's all right, Dylan. Everybody says the same thing. What is that? Well, first of all, Katie and I invented the name. So then I invented the definition. The definition is a Confubeldorfer is a creation made by a creator. It makes sense, doesn't it? All right? That's the only way you can define a Confubeldorfer. This young lady came to our home one night, and I, I honestly don't know exactly how old she was. I think she was somewhere between two and three. She did not possess, at that time, the greatest vocabulary. So she, she got this little thing out, and she said, Papa, I made this for you. And I said, Honey, that is really nice. I said, what is it? She said, I don't know. I said, all right, we need to give it a name. What do you want to name it? I don't know. I said, well, let's call it a Confubeldorfer. So she gave me the Confubeldorfer. I put it on my bulletin board. Now, I want you to know that Confubeldorfer has been on six bulletin boards in six different homes since she gave it to me. And I want you to see, now I'm not sure this is the first, did you go in the bag? I'm not sure this is the first of her creation. But it is one of the most unique. So Dylan, I now charge you with the responsibility of taking care of the invisible world. Now I know what you're going to ask. What is inside that piece of paper? Nothing. <laughs> there you are, sir.